Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today this is this video is part three of my Wet n Wild um, lipstick collection. Um, the first video was kind of a miscellaneous video. I had some Fergie lipsticks. I had some of the Wet n Wild lipsticks in the silver tube and I had um, one of the kind of like long ones that um, it has the um, clear cap, um, I think it's like the Mega Shine Lipstick, Mega Last Lipsticks, I don't know what they're called, because um, the name of it was uh, scratched off on the cap because I carried around my purse so much. But that was part one, and then part two was all my bomb stains that I owned, um, permanent and limited edition. And today I saved the best for last, which is the Mega Last Matte Lipsticks. I have um, lipsticks from the permanent collection and I have limited edition. Um, I was not fortunate enough to get the matte ones in the matte packaging, which I really wanted to get. but. Um, yeah, those ones I weren't able to find, but I do have um, a lot. I was able to get the ones from the Halloween collection. I think I got all the ones from the Halloween collection, so I was happy about that. And I love these lipsticks. They are um, affordable. They are great pigmentation. Um, the only downside with these is that... Um, they can be a little dry, like when you're putting them on your lips, sometimes they can kind of skip, um, which is the only annoying thing. They're not um, like creamy, creamy like the new Maybelline um, mattes that just came out, but these are excellent for $1.99, and they always go on sale, so you can get um, buy one, get one 50% off, buy one, get one free, or um, they'll be 40% off, or you can get them for $0.60. Cents. So they are very affordable, and then they go on sale, and they're even more affordable, so that you can, you know, pick as many colors as you want from the collection and it's not going to make you go broke and there is a color for every skin type, hair color, so on so forth. So um, you, anyone will be able to find a color that they like in this collection and I own, how many do I own? I own a lot. <laughs> so one, two, three. I own 22 lipsticks, so um, I'm going to be starting from the lightest to the darkest, and I'll be doing swatches and lip swatches of them. So let's get into this because I have a lot of these puppies. The first color is Sunset Strip. This was from the Halloween collection, and it is a very pretty sheer metallic gold color. Um, Alone on the lips, it's very hard to build up because it is so sheer, but it's um, excellent for um, if you want to lighten the color or add some sheen to it, you pop this on the lips and then put your lipstick color on over it. Or it's really good for putting in the center of the lips and making you know your lips pop and stand out more to give them that more fuller look. So let me swatch this. Uh, you need to, I'm gonna, <laughs> yeah, as you can see, I had to, you know, do a lot of swipes to get this color. So this is what um, Sunset Strip looks like, swatched, and then on the lips. So this is what it looks like on the lips. Very 
very sheer when it's on its own and it just gives them a nice golden sparkle but like I said if you put it on um, over a darker lipstick it will look amazing or you can also use it to put in the center of the lips so that's um, Sunset Stripped the next color I have is uh, clothing optional and I do believe this is also from the Halloween collection this is a um, pinky nude color and this is a swatch of it right there and let me do a lip swatch now of it Uh, my lips are going to be so red and raw by the end of this video. <laughs> and also, I've been doing lip swatch videos all week long, so um, after this video, I'm going to give my lips a rest from doing all these uh, lip swatches and stuff. Okay, so um, this is what clothing optional looks like in the tube. Very pretty pink, uh, pinky nude color. And then that's what it looks like on the lips. The next color I have is pink sugar. And even though it's called pink sugar, it's more of like a peachy nude color. It kind of reminds me of um, Coquette from uh, Lime Crime. So right here is pink sugar. And as you can see, clothing optional is definitely more pinker. And pink sugar has more of a peachy tone in it. If you hear music in the background, that's um, one of the uh, people who live on uh, the, uh, one of my neighbors on my floor is blasting their music right now. So uh, that's what the music is if you hear it in the background. Okay, so this is what pink sugar looks like in the tube. And then on the lips, this is what it looks like. Very pretty colors. Okay, the next color is just peachy. This, I know, is part of the permanent collection. And just peachy, for some reason, is like more of a pink-toned color. I don't, um, I find it funny sometimes how they uh, come up with these lipstick names and they don't even look anything like what they're named. So this is what the color looks like swatched, and what was it called again? Just peachy. So yes, this is just peachy swatched, and now I'll do a lip swatch of it.
Okay, so this is just peachy in the tube. And then this is what it looks like on the lips. The next color up I have is Bear It All, another nude. A lot of nude colors uh, they came out with this uh, Halloween collection, I kind of noticed. So this is what it looks like in the tube. And this is a swatch of it. And now I will do a lip swatch of it. Okay, so this is Bear It All. Make sure those puppies don't roll away. So that's what Bear It All looks like on the lips. A My Lips But Better color, definitely. The next color after that is Coming In Latte. I love this color. This is such a perfect fall color. That is the swatch of Coming in Latte. And then this is what it looks like in the tube. And now I will do a lip swatch of it. And I love how pigmented these lipsticks are. It's amazing um, how good these lipsticks are for ninety-nine or a dollar ninety-nine. And I remember when I first started wearing makeup. What and Wild was not um, as popular as they were now, and their products were definitely not um, up to par as uh, of what they are now. So just it uh, makes me laugh when I think about um, how Wet and Wild used to be, and um, I used to hate it too. And now I I love Wet and Wild. I can't live without it. I go crazy whenever a limited edition palette or lipsticks come out. I go nuts hunting them down. So um, good job Wet and Wild revamping yourself and um, making better products. <laughs> that are um, inexpensive and good quality. So this is coming in latte on the lips. Such a beautiful fall color. I really like this color. I've been wearing this like almost every single day. Okay, the next color we have is Rose to Fame. That's what it looks like in the tube. And this is a swatch of it. And now we'll do a lip swatch of it. The only thing um, that sucks about this packaging is that the uh, lipstick doesn't go all the way down. So it's very easy to nick the lipsticks and then you end up with kind of like a mess like this all over your cap. That's the only drawback with uh, this packaging. OK, 
Dokuli Dokuli. And now let's do a lip swatch. This is like um, the Kylie, the you know what's hot right now, the Kylie Jenner lipstick color. So this kind of reminds me of that, the Kylie Jenner lipsticks. So uh, this is Rose to Fame, and this is what it looks like on my lips. Another great fall color. The next color after that, this is from the Permanent Collection. It's called Spiked with Rum. This is what it looks like in the container. And let me swatch. So this is what it looks like swatched right there. And now I will do a lip swatch. Again, this is another kind of Kylie Jenner inspired lipstick or the 90s lipstick as they call it. Um, I remember in high school this, these colors were very um, popular. Although in high school I was wearing black lipstick. Yes, I was uh, that girl. I was the weird goth girl in high school. <laughs> okay, so this is what uh, Spiked with Rum looks like on the lips. The next color up we have is Rosebud. And this is what it looks like in the packaging. And this is what it looks like swatched. There's the cap. <laughs> okay, that was uh, Rosebud. So this is what Rosebud looks like on my lips. 